Hey, what's up, coders? All right, today we'll be looking at what's the simplest way to get um, an API. To, well, better yet, what's the simplest way to use an API in Android using Kotlin? So in this video, we are going to make it as simple as possible. So one of the things I'd recommend doing is going to rapidapi.com. They don't sponsor me. I don't get a dollar from them and signing up, which I've already done. So pretty much what they do is they have a collection of APIs, um, free and some paid. I only use a free, to be honest with you. And um, you can use them in your Android project. And so the libraries we'll be using is a library called Unirest. Uh, let me see if I wrote that down correctly. It is Unirest, yep, Unirest. And we're going to be using Kotlin for this demonstration and I'm going to show you how simple it is to use this and what I do when I'm using it so let's start it up so pretty much we're going to an empty activity next and I'm just going to be going through this very fast all right so let's just call this API for lack of a better word API test all right API test and let's click click finish all right so bear with me this computer isn't the fastest all right so there we go it's already built out so pretty much what we need to do is to add some dependencies all right so first things first let's go to our gradle and let's add the universe um, um dependencies so we're clicking on our build.gradle.gradle dot um gradle file so you click on it all right, and there are going to be two while well, it's still configuring. Let me get into my notes. So there are two, I'm going to put these in the description, two dependencies. One is a Maven dis dependency, and the other one is pretty much just your regular dependency right here, which is a module. All right, so pretty much let's copy this Maven one, and it goes right under um, the repositories in your build.gradle file. Trust me, you will know definitely which one of the Gradle files it goes into because one of them, that's all it talks about right here, dependencies. All right, so, well, right here, which it says repositories, I should say. All right, right on the JCenter, I'm going to copy and paste mine, Maven. All right, all of this goodness right here. And in fact, if you want, you can even, you can even find the, 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 the the tutorial in terms of the dependencies for Unirest online. So it's very easy, just a simple Google search will show it to you. All right, so let's get to our next one where we're going to put our impl implementation. Let's scroll down here. Right here, I like to create a space and let me copy out my, you don't need to know this by, by, by heart, you just, can just copy it out and just paste the dependencies in there. So dependency number two, and I'm pasting it in here. And where it says compile, I'm changing this. You could leave compile, but implementation is the way to go. Okay, there's no code completion here. M-E-N-T-A-T-I-O-N, implementation, okay. And we need one more thing, Anko. And what we want to do is to do our background. Um, so it's spelled A-N-K-O. So it's the Anko library. All right, so it has a grip, git, GitHub um, repository page. We don't want any of this. What we just want is this, how to implement it. So we say implementation. Anko and the version, so just copy the version here. Go back to where you have your dependencies. Paste the latest dependency, which is 0.10.8. And then we add the actual Anko dependency, which will be right here. Copy. Paste. 
And this is the hardest work you'll have to do. And if this is not hard, then guess what? It's not. Overall, it's not a hard thing. All right, so we're just syncing our Gradle file now with our new dependencies. So it starts to download Unirest and all the good stuff. And let's get back into our Rapid API. So for the purpose of this, this, this video, I'll be just using um, the Holy Bible. Yes, the Holy Bible. I'm going to actually use the api from the bible yes there is such a thing let me zoom all right so pretty much it tells you if you're using unirest which we're using and this is using node so if you're using it using um java unirest this is what you really have the response blah 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 holy bible and the query really is if you zoom, if you scroll down a bit, uh, you can look. Each API has different queries that you can work so work on. So pretty much, we in this Bible, the the string is Luke, and the chapter is eight. And we look in this example response, we see that it gives you a JSON object which returns the book, which is Genesis, the chapter, which is one, and the output of it. So in this, we just want to get grab the output of this, this resource. And these are all get. So get resource, get books, get chapters, get verses. So we are pretty much just getting a chapter. So this, this actually doesn't have a, a um, code snippet for, for, the, for, for Kotlin. But pretty much this can uh, can be used if you know what you're doing. So let's just put this in. So first thing we want to do is go back to our project, go to our main act uh, to our Gradle file. Well, let's go to our manifest. Go to our manifest file and let's add our internet permissions. So above application, create some space. We say uses permission and we want to say internet uses permission internet that's that because without this it won't even go online and pull that resource now let's get into our main activity so we're now in our main activity java file and if you're going to make any requests to, um, externally that is some heavy request you don't want to do that on your main thread so what you're going to do is uh, let it do so in the background all right so let's create a text that will be updated with our information when we pull it so we have our hello world um, text right here all right so let's create some space and let's name this, give it an ID. I'm going to call it text. Yeah, T-E-X. And let's go back to our main activity. And let's just, just say, well, let's just, just do some background. So because we have our Anko um, library implemented here, we can do stuff like do, do async. And this comes directly from Anko async context so let's click on that okay so within this background because this will be running on your background thread in order to, so what we do in this now is to pull the information from the 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 the, the rapid api or the api so let's go back over to our api documentation and it tells us response blah 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 unirest dot get okay and we just copy that and let's go back to our application and let's just paste that so we want to store this so let's import unirest and let's turn this into a variable so we have the variable response which is response unirest dot get this html that has in if you notice something here that the chap get the chapter 
the book is Luke right here and the chapter is 8 so let me just look we could change this to whatever Bible chapter you want in the query string and we could change this chapter number to anything you want as well so this will get this response and store it in this variable which is called response all right but before you get that response you need to pass in some headers so let's just copy these headers it has my key in it as well um, feel free to use your own key and there we go and there we go so that's my key that's my my header and let me just say and you say as a string okay as a string so just put that string so whatever is sent the response that is stored in this variable will come back as a string cool all right so what do we do next let us store this in a variable again so let's just call this all all res which is all results and let's just say response or better yet json json let's just say that it will so pretty much what we have is json and i json in all caps json and i'm not seeing what i want let's say json object because this is a json object because what this returns to you if you look inside your sample it shows you that you get a json object and we just want output from that our json object so okay so our json object is this response so response let me write it the correct way response and out of that response what we really want is is let me see oh hold let oh there's an error here we don't want the response because that's everything we want the body of the response so let's create a another variable and let's just call this all and let's just get the body of the response so that, that was an error let's get the body of the response so response body so this is all the, the, the response. This is what it has the JSON objects in it. Everything. So in that variable all, let's just get one thing. Let's get the string string out of it. And the what we're looking for, let's get back to Rapid API. And we could get either the, the book, the chapter, or the, the 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 output but we're interested in the output so for this example we'll just be putting the output which would be which would be sorry guys which would be output so the output is called out put let's see it must be spelled exactly how it is so in fact it's capital O U T. Let me just copy this and let's put it here. So, output. Okay, so now we have the output and it's all stored in all res, which is our response. Now, let us display it in our text view. So, for that, we will do activity. wouldn't be activity it would be um, we want to display it on the main thread so this would be 
our activity UI. All right, we're not getting what we want here. Something's off. Let's see. So it would be activity UI thread. There we go. Don't ask me why it was coming up. It wasn't coming up before. I have no clue. It just didn't want to. And remember that text view that we created. This one. That seems uh, yeah, text. We're gonna update this whenever it pulls from the API. Uh, text. Dot. Text. Equal. All this goodness, all res, all res, and I'm making sure that this is a string, so I'm saying to string. All right, so let's give this a run and see how it how it functions. So I'm firing up my emulator. I uh, don't know how long it will take to come up. So let's recap. So pretty much we use as um, anchor to get a background activity we used unires uh what's going on here detected okay there it is um this is showing a previous app that i have so let's just wait until this one comes up and we used it to pull the information from the rapid api we passed in the headers which they which is pretty much on their website and when we got the response, we took the body of the response, stored it in a variable, and in that variable, we pulled out exactly what we wanted from our JSON using our JSON object. And this is a built-in class within Kotlin. So it's pretty built-in. All right, so we're pretty much just waiting for the, the, the emulator to show up eventually so waiting 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 it's not so fast i probably might just pause the video a while so that i can actually don't have you guys waiting until my slow emulator comes up but pretty much that's all it, there is to do to get your rest api working from rapid api but let me pause this that's the, i can cut out the unnecessary waiting for you guys all right so we're back so it's installing and it's launching the main activity so all eyes over here all right so hello world it should be pulling from the there we go and it came to pass that he went to a town giving the food the good news of the kingdom blah 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 yes so that's pretty much how you use um rapid api using Unirest and Anko inside your your um your Kotlin Android application and Rapid API has a lot of APIs and there's absolutely I found no Kotlin um sample code except for this thing that I've just made. I've not found any. So hey Hope you enjoyed this video and if, if it was helpful and it was less stressing than the others, let me know. Um, yeah, that helps me. And please subscribe or recommend the video. Give it a thumbs up. That helps me more than everything else. Give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you see other videos you like, please help the channel out. I don't make much from these videos, but I do it for the love of the code. All right. Thank you guys for watching.